We start by drawing a series of numbers in rows. A four in the first row to represent L4. In the second row, we draw two fives for L5. The remaining rows are sacral levels, so we draw three ones in the third row, then skip a column and draw three twos, skip again and draw three threes. Finally, we'll skip a column and end with a four in the last row. Now these numbers are already organized into groups if we draw them like this. The first group, L4, L5, and S1, are the levels that contribute to both the superior gluteal nerve and the nerve to quadratus femoris. This next group, L5, S1, and S2, make the inferior gluteal nerve and the nerve to obturator internus. This next group, S1, 2, and S3, contribute to the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. S2, 3, and 4 contribute to the pudendal nerve. Now using a different color, I'll circle all the levels that contribute to the sciatic nerve, L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3 sciatic nerve. And finally S1 and S2 over here make the nerve to the piriformis muscle. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider clicking like and subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications to get alerted to all my latest videos. For more helpful anatomy and physiology study resources, visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.